This week on The Coach and the Casual, we break down the BKFC. We got Trevor Bradshaw in the house coming off a first-round knockout, 1-0, bare-knuckle fighting. We're going to talk about his experience, mine and the casual's experience. He might have cried a couple times. And we're going to break down, does jiu-jitsu really work? Let's go. Awesome. Hey, we'll, we'll just jump right into it, Trevor. Uh, we were at the fights. I got to ask you, how does your face feel, dude? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't feel too bad, dude. 100% uh, com- compared to a lot of those guys that night. Yeah, they got, yeah. They got yeah, dude, Did you, like, see that? You're like, I got away with murder. Yeah, I actually went in the back right after that first uh, LJ fight and uh, got stitched up right next to him and kind of patted him on his leg and looked at him and i had to kind of turn away for a minute but dude lg was so sick <laughs> dude that eye was unbelievable i couldn't and then he was just coming out he was hanging out after the fights just I mean, what else are you gonna do yeah yeah i go home i'm like dude get me out. yeah yeah have a, dad take me home <laughs> have a, dad take me home i'm done with this that was insane just i mean uh yeah i mean you you got you got one cut on your face but i mean Long Maybe he was there for the front row seat yeah. to watch the Mike Perry Eddie. Did you, you know? did you feel like you were largely untouched? I mean, what was your experience in there? In there, yeah. I knew I kind of felt some blood trickle down. Um, I, I switched to a southpaw stance just briefly, and he, like, lit me up with a big overhand left from southpaw, and it brought me right back into <laughs> yeah. stance. But other than that, like, nothing nothing too bad. Kind of sore in, like, my arms in some weird place. Yeah. I like, took some punches, but... I'm so healthy. This is well, your this is your first bare knuckle fight. I mean, you've had a lot of fights leading up to this, and he's had pro boxing fights too. Yeah, yeah so you've you've fought a lot. What was different for you in there? And you know, when you switch to southpaw, immediately you catch it. You're like, oh shit, I got to get out of that. I mean, what was what was happening in your mind? As how different was this? Um, it was different because I think I was more comfortable doing this than anything that I've done. That's interesting. So. Leading up to it, like, I was talking to my coach a lot. I was t- talking to my wife a lot. Like, I just, I know it's exciting. I'm, like, nervous. Clearly, everyone's nervous, and you got the, an- you know, being anxious to get in there. But I was genuinely not worried about anything. Yeah. Super confident going into it. And then even in the back, I was like, come on, it's got to hit. The nerves got to hit. And I was just so calm and collected the whole time. And then after it, it's just like, that's nothing really new to the sense of how I went exactly how I thought it was going to go. Like rough childhood growing up definitely was the first time getting in a, you know, everyone's been on fights, but I've been in a lot of, a lot of street fights that have been that not just complete chaos, but control bar burners. Yeah, dude. It's going to feel like more of a street fight than like a MMA fight. For sure. Like, I mean, you have the most MMA fights out of any other combat. It does take that aspect. To answer the question, it changes the dynamics is yes. It doesn't feel like an MMA fight at all. It feels like you're going to like, get a fight. You're, (laughs) <laughs> uh, Jamal Hill, yeah. you know, yeah. go fight with your brother, brother for the cleaning <laughs> issue. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. did yeah. you see that? Yeah, I heard the Jamal that. Hill yeah. yeah, he, he got beat up his brother. He beat up his brother. Sounds something. like how like me and my sister grew up in our household. Yeah. Like, yeah. I ain't doing the dishes, so it ended up in a fight. Well, I guess uh, his brother I, was like uh, supposed to clean the house, went over there, <laughs> tons of rats. Then he made a comment about his yeah. like child or something. Imagine, imagine your brother oh, being a right. UFC champion. Like, shut up. Yeah, yeah. Don't talk shit to your brother when he's a UFC fighter. Right? Uh, have you ever been in? A, I mean, you've been in plenty of street fight dreams, yeah. Is yeah. It, does it? I mean, he says it feels more natural. I mean, a lot of times when you're in street fights, I mean, you're street fighting, fight you're fighting does feel cans. more natural though. How so? Because it me, just flows. Like the energy's there, you know. Like when you're about to fight someone. It's about to go down. You're like, fuck yeah, let's get this going. Ramsey almost got into several street fights at the fights here. I was like, I was a blah. <laughs> Dude, there was two. I watched this and I had to like, Ramsey, get out of here. I to him. He, he about got himself. Hey, you know, I got yeah. nemesis. <laughs> yeah, I got nemesis. <laughs> and he was fucking staring at me down. And I said, I can't let you get that close. <laughs> he got too, <laughs> he didn't get too close to me. So I was like, honestly, if my lawyer was out of the country, if he wasn't, I fucking would have hit him. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was. I was pulling Ramsey up, which is just I'm like, dude, freaking. But street shit. fights feel good, bro. I'm telling you, it feels way better, right? Last time, no joke. Last time I was in a fist fight was tenth grade, and uh, it was with a okay, it was with a kid who had a disability. <laughs> you <laughs> so, swear? I swear. But here's the thing. So he had uh, a small hand, right? For some reason, a small hand. I was doing. Why are you picking on so, the handicap kid? But he picked the fight, no joke. He, 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 so well, I said hi. hi his name was Shlomi. I said hi, Shlomi, and uh, he was like. Okay, so we're fighting, and then we went. Fight. I would fight you too, <laughs> wouldn't you? Holy. You made fun of his hand. You but bully. the biggest hit he gave me was with that small hand. No, Did it hurt? It hurt. Yeah, I knocked him down. Bro, I would have kicked your ass in high school. I remember one time this kid was like picking on a handicapped kid, and I was like, "Green okay. light to street fight," and yeah. I just go over to. He wasn't a really handicapped. He had a smaller hand, so that was. Hey, uh, it's still that. Anyway, all right, that is my the dad. One. My dad ever was like, "Dude, what? What the hell's the matter with yeah, you?" Yeah, yeah, you need to fight more. That's the problem. That was the last fight I've been in, but I won. I think you so, need to get in like a real. That doesn't count. Want to know, baby? Oh, it gets a handicapped <laughs> kid legitimately. So, God, anyway. Kyle, you are going to be the world's most hated man. We're going to have to hire person, personal. One security. of the fights it was because someone like they honestly don't understand. Like, I it mean, works. Kyle is an asshole in real life, <laughs> but like. But it's not that he's playing. He is just an asshole, but you can't just go up to someone and fight yeah, him. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, yo, leave Kyle alone. Some so one of them walks up to me who was watching the show was like, heard you talking shit? I'm like, what? Get out of here, man. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> yeah, he gets in his face and shit. So that was one. That one wasn't my fault, all right? Yeah. It was Ramsey coming to my aid. It was, it was Yeah, I helped you out. Yeah, it was tough to see. <laughs> But then he You're gonna to be the ultimate heel. Dude. You need to fucking hire like a <laughs> private security. Yeah, a private security guy, like an ex Green Break, because you can't <laughs> fight. Listen, for, sure, for any of you guys out there who want to fight me, I will tell on you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I will press charges. <laughs> like I, I do have a lawyer, and I will press charges as soon as you touch Disclaimer. me. Disclaimer. Okay. But, like, but, would uh, you ever press charges? Nah. Uh, Even if you got your shit kicked in. No. Nah, so, kind of well, to touch on that, the only time I'd ever, and you know. It was some charges were brought on to us, and you know, for having the rap sheet, I, I'm always the one to kind of blame. So, gone through it, you know, in the juvenile detention, a lot of street fights and stuff. But, yeah, you know, sometimes if it's not your fault and you got some charges and you know, there's, there's some hospital bills, you know, you can't can't pay for them all. Yeah. So yeah, you know, there's aside from that street fighting, it, I like it in the sense that it's or BKFC is like street fighting but uh there's two two different things to it you know i mean it could when be you were call. training when you were training with nick and i, I apologize for cutting you no, off you're good. but when you were training your 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 coach is uh nick right yeah out of what gym uh he's been with me through not even any gym he's just like my best friend my long term long term he's just like my personal training my life coach my what's my his dude. name nick what nick mcnab nick, nick yeah. mcnab yeah. uh was it different training for this i mean what was the different training than you've done for your for your for your pro boxing fights because we had lido on here and he was saying as an older fighter he's like i can go through another bare knuckle camp but no way i could go through another mma camp nor want to yeah, I mean, we took, I still trained, I like trained, still striking, kicking up until like maybe a couple weeks out just to get the kicks out of the arsenal and muscle memory. But for like the level and the conditioning, I still tried to train MMA. Dude, that's what I was going to ask. I mean, how many times in there, if you've been doing MMA for so long, the round. how do you not, how do you not shoot for a double leg? Dude, someone did, out? remember? He, start, he started to yeah, get Yeah, he grabbed the double leg and he's like, oh man, Yeah, dude. I think, I think, yeah. Maybe not training smart in your camp, maybe, but if you're smart and you got the fighter IQ, like even in my, we crossed this bridge when I was doing just boxing and you always wonder, but if you, if I, I mean, if you can't, in your brain, tell yourself what you're doing in there, then you got a, bigger you got a problem. Yeah, bigger yeah. Problem. If and yeah, well, I mean, muscle, if you're like, rocked and going for something, that's a little bit yeah, okay. I mean, you're rocked, you rocked, but if you're and shooting, that's just because true, man. When you're rocked, sometimes you're yeah, just you're going after the level. ref in some yeah. cases. But uh, I can see myself. I would just shoot a double leg. You know? I'm like, ah, oh, take you down. I don't want to get hit anymore. <laughs> <His> dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Old dick twist. Yeah. 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 It's crotch yeah. sniffer. I'm just an old fashioned crotch sniffer. Yeah, Ramsey. When we're training, he he goes rides he, a leg for, for months and months. He just trains north south position. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's all we were. He's like, yeah, so we'll just. North, yeah, south. I haven't <laughs> taught him how to get out. Yeah. We're, we're sparring. <laughs> like good hour, we're, dude. We're good sparring, hour. Ramsey, and he's like, yeah, but north-south is a good way to start sparring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a 
gonna take the takes, all right? No judging. That's Only fine. God could judge. They uh, they'd almost kind of been in talks with you, Ramsey, uh, about doing bare knuckle. Uh, after watching it, though, you said your number would have been way higher. The triple, bro. What, 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 was was what was it like watching it for you as a as a UFC fighter? I mean, it was fun. I felt like like I kept on saying. I, I felt like I was at a monster truck rally, but with fights. You know, there's like the like music going, yeah, yeah. the dudes coming out, the girls with big asses everywhere. <laughs> I didn't it was like that. there was oh. gir- there was girls there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember, our wives don't watch it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, uh, my wife has never yeah. watched a single episode. Yeah, my wife watches it maybe like in the background. Just she's like, oh look, I gave you the we, view. Your mom, we had to we had to subscribe for her. Yeah, yeah. My mom thought it was like a show about cars. Yeah. In car parts. <laughs> like Kyle Love was teaching mom, me about cars. And I was like, how? Why would that Where'd be that? that? Yeah, it didn't make sense. So it doesn't matter. So you saw the effect. Uh, but I will say a big shout out to Ramsey's mom. It's good to meet her. So. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Guys. I'm going to just be calling him dad here one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little weird. But I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. But anyways, like I was talk- thinking about it a lot. And, you know, that Chris Lytle, when he was on here, he was talking about it's really important to, like, take those hooks tight and you know you're saying it's almost like old timey boxers you know and i was kind of hitting the bag the last couple days just watching it because it's fun and you're thinking about it and i was like yeah you would really have to be kind of playing that boom boom super tight and he's like you got to squeeze your fist because i mean i'm sure i'm just telling you from what i observed but i was like you know it is violent but you watch the more like advanced fighters come out like jeremy stevens yeah he lost the first beginning and he looks so Start fast when he so was fast you know and even like mike perry yeah did he get effed up a little bit in the beginning he got hit a few times but afterwards it was mostly superficial yeah he was yeah, fine was it was like black eye it was a cut yeah. but you could tell because the defense is yeah. just different at that different like the higher level they were opening their hands a little bit more keeping it up and it was kind of interesting the style of boxing goes from you know, here to more like almost old time. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've always had a kind of a tendency to drop my hands and I've almost created a bad habit for myself because I like to counter with it a little bit, you know, I'll bait yeah. it in a little bit. I know what I'm doing, but sometimes it'll catch you, you know, it's a little yeah. risky, but I, I do it anyway. I mean, this I, last that was my has brought my thing. hands up a lot just because I'm like, yeah, you know, they need to be here and looking at it, it just looks a lot better. I feel a lot better. Um, that, that switch to southpaw that got you in trouble, though, was that planned or was that something you just did naturally and you said, oh, we, we oh, was Coach Nick like, well, what are you doing? Get out of there. <laughs> no, well, that was He's shaking time. his head over there, we, smiling, we, chewing his gum aggressively. We stuff. always switch to uh, different stances and work things. And uh, that, you know, we'll, we even went to the drawing board and started working on a little bit of just more defense in the southpaw. Offense is fine, but just you don't think of that. So it's harder to find, you know, and not, it's harder to spar. With guys, it was weird, you know, like, shout out to the gym, the dojo, you know, a lot of guys that are all going through it, getting ready for fights too, but for some reason, it's like, I'm training bare knuckle, it's like, nobody wants to spar anymore, you know, yeah, it's like, yeah. guys, we're not training bare knuckle, we're not sparring bare knuckle. Yeah, bare knuckle. I don't want to want to spar bare knuckle, yeah. like, how but much? it's like, yeah, I don't know, it's just crazy to me, like, I enjoyed it, man, I really genuinely enjoyed it. Well, that's it. like the trick with tr- uh, switching your stance, I think, is... Your defense and everyone, yeah. you, any classic boxing, old school boxing coach is like, don't switch your stance. Don't switch your stance. Yeah. Not because of the offense. The offense is easier. And I think that's why you see Jake Paul and all sure. these like YouTube boxers you'll get caught going southpaw ready for it because they're defense. only going southpaw, though. And I think that gap is faster to overcome. But for someone like you that grew up in your regular stance, when you switch, it's just not fast enough, your brain. And I think that's yeah. – you see that all the time. And even in MMA, yeah, for a while there, TJ Dillashaw made it all the fancy footwork, yeah. switching until Henry Cejudo just sat there and threw a left hook right that, knee and yeah. slept him. Yeah. And now everyone's like, don't switch your stance. Don't switch it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, a lot of what Lytle talked about, though, is that um, – you're actually getting not hit as hard as you are in MMA because of the gloves, right? Yeah. If, if I was to tell you to punch this wall with a glove or your bare fist, you're going to punch it a lot harder with the glove just because mentally I got some protection there. Right. Did it feel like even though you were getting whacked, it doesn't have the same amount of force behind it as when you're MMA or boxing? Yeah, we talked about this too earlier. Um, I, th- I probably threw and knocked him out maybe 75% with that punch. Yeah, yeah. So I 
I was hitting the bag, like leading up to it with the water bag to condition my knuckles and stuff. Yeah. Get that used to like a cold in my basement water bag and hit it kind of cold. Yeah. And they hurt. And bro. Yeah. Like it's, I just, I work outside and it's like yeah. man hands, but, uh, I Doing hit the man shit all day. I, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, uh, like catch a head and then it, it was just money. Like it was clean precision strikes and that's what we worked on. Did you feel a difference like getting hit? Did it hurt more? I don't like, like you know, when you feel it like, you know, everyone asks, Can you feel that shit in the fight? Like yeah. even when you hit shins or some crazy you know, you watch it back, you're like, God damn, I don't even really remember that. Oh really? I'm ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I don't <Yeah>. remember it. Yeah. <laughs> Ramsey just tapped me on the shin one time. I was like, dude, I, Yeah, it's crazy. For a week yeah. I couldn't do it yeah. I broke my jaw in the second round. It was like a minute into the second round in like my, one of my this is my second pro fight. And uh took a flying knee, fractured two spots in my jaw, my orbital was shattered, and I fought the rest of the fight. It just dogged it out. It was, it was nuts. So I have a high pain tolerance. So I, and to me, I just, like, not acting like the tough guy. I just, you know, you feel a couple days after. I still feel, like, a couple areas. A little back but then I also head. wonder, like, the cut on your forehead. I wonder if that would have cut with no uh or with the gloves on it was no. the, and the hard part about breaking your jaw in your second pro fight is that you did it for 47 dollars yeah yeah <laughs> if that I you paid for it yeah yeah we won't drop names but yeah you got to be on careful with some local promotion yeah. cards and insurance because yeah, yeah they'll get you so. yeah yeah you gotta be really I've been, careful i've been that. through that right. 47 dollars and they let you oh. have a hot dog from the concession yeah, yeah. no 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 you get <laughs> granola bars you, you get half off at the hot dog yeah, yeah, yeah i wish <laughs> no it's unassociated so you don't actually <laughs> but we're, we're going actually uh speaking of local fights friday night uh my little fighter jordan speedy gonzalez we're going to steel fist this he's going to steel fist are you coming to that fight yeah, check out bryce and that cold foul yeah, yeah bryce, that's bryce a good fight awesome yeah shout out bryce yeah, he looks sharp so yeah bryce is gonna fight, he's a main event him and cole faust i think that's a great fight yeah, absolutely I honestly that's like a really good local card this one it's yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah, a it's been a minute since i've been out to go on steel fist i personally and, uh, have been I'm choked i decided to go out there and check it out i personally have been choked by bryce so you know. and uh, and when, Jordan. He, when he goes and wins it all that hey and speedy remember Jordan? No, but that was my second day. Today, I'm not joking you, Bro, Jordan. Today, Jordan's even admitted it that he wouldn't want to go with me. Yeah, oh, yeah. He, just, he was selling you a table <laughs> yeah, he was. at the time. He was like, he's like, yeah, the table would be eight hundred dollars, and you're like, hey, could I beat your ass? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He could beat my ass, and then he got the money. He's like, fuck out here. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> cool. But um, that'll be fun. That'll be a good time because like. Uh, Speedy, I mean that kid's a monster. What is his? Uh, uh, he's a one thirty-five. So is that the only pro? Car, uh, is that the only pro fight on that card? No, it's Bryce and Cole. Yeah, but everything else is like amateur. Amateurs, yeah, yeah. But Jordan's ready, an ready to go pro though, right? They're yeah, on the I mean brink like he's it. like, uh, but he's still so young. So we're, yeah, I mean he only has five, four amateur fights. Yeah. So um, how many amateurs did you have? Six. Yeah. yeah, yeah so, so like so about perfect, four. Yeah, yeah he's about a couple wet, more. Yeah. You know. Uh, I want him to have a couple title defenses. Yeah. Basically, beat the top or at least fight all the top amateur guys sure, sure. in the I'm state, and hold. then might as well be like, now go pro. I yeah. mean, he's a 35er. It's a lot less damage. Yeah, yeah. They're... I think I could fight two 35ers at once. Yes or no? No way, bro. They would murder. Okay, let's you. say I got a year of training against two amateur 35ers. What amateur? There's amateur is a Jordan. Spectrum. Jordan and the guy he's fighting. Right? Oh no, no, they would, <laughs> Kawhi would beat you too. The guy he's fighting is tough. They both would beat you any day, any week. Yeah. Kawhi is like the smallest Polynesian I've ever met. He's like a small dude. He's a which is wild. Is, is it is it hard for you uh, going in there and and being able to only do? Oh, this is what I talked to Lytle about, right? Only being able to box basically, even if it's bare knuckle. With, I mean, don't you have a great passion for jujitsu? And we'll talk about jujitsu, yeah. but is it hard for you to put that on the shelf for so long? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm kind of stubborn with where I'm at with my MMA career, to be honest, and I'm haven't really made that decision where I want to go. Like I, I know. I have an option to go with BKFC. I'm confident they're going to be getting in touch with me soon. The problem is waiting. I hate waiting. Do you have I'm a manager or patient. like no, do you do it all? I do it all. Me and my coach and kind of been doing it out of his basement from the beginning and it's evolved and evolved and I'm so stubborn that I don't stop. Why why not have a manager? I'm just curious. Um I just really haven't reached out, you know. I'm kind of have trust issues with like who who I put my trust into. I keep my foxhole small. Um yeah. 
but yeah, I mean, I want, I, I'm open to help to get to that next level. I just want to fight. So if there's anyone out that's here to this, you know, put me in the right direction as far as, you know, helping me get to that next level of fighting the higher tier talent. I'm showing that I, I belong there and whether it be MMA or a BKFC, you know, like it needs to make sense you know well i mean you got the right mentality we were talking before the show and i was like oh you should fight ben moa you know, i was saying it jokingly ben moa's a big yeah i'll fight him i'll fight perry right now you know it's yeah. you you got that same mentality and you have uh, anywhere anytime you yeah. know what i mean which i think goes a long way because for me it's not anywhere anytime it's like okay the exact right time the exact right yeah, opponent yeah. Or, how much or, how that's much where i am too someone says how much you fight him can, can i start how much, on, can dude. i start on his back yeah, you know? yeah. yeah there's you know people there's <laughs> levels to this and this but dude there's there's generally i feel there's like what's comfortable to people of like hey like i've, I've got into fighting i like fighting i've trained fighting i've like i have fought since i was a kid and it's not new to me at all yeah. i think my biggest enemy it was myself when i put the pressure of takedowns jujitsu do you like wrestling jujitsu i love it i'm a killer in the gym oh what really I'm getting at is that i'm dangerous just my and my my record for MMA six and nine. It's because I'm my own worst enemy. I took stupid fights. Sixty nine. You know, hands, yeah. Hands, hands. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. God damn. Yeah, damn. I'm about, to, <laughs> you're about to win that. Yeah, yeah. Like, Don't punch me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> yeah, Sick. but what? Yeah. At the end of the day, I just want to fight. So I don't want to sit back and be like, okay, I just do I just want to train boxing. No, I love. I'm so stubborn. I'm I'm such a good athlete as it comes. I'm. You know, because you fought it. LFA before. Yeah, I fought LFA against uh, your teammate Dom. And, your uh, nemesis. He's his yeah. nemesis. Uh, he he's, a, he's a good dude. And yeah. Hats off to him. Dom but. always does knee on belly. Yeah. He's, he's, he's an knee. absolute <laughs> nemesis. They hate each other. He gets so and then they always talk shit to each other about wearing, because like Dom wears the same Biggie shirt. And he, Kyle's like, You wearing the same shirt. And Dom's like, I have four of them. And he's like, Well, <laughs> and then I'm like, What does Kyle wear? In and out, in and out <laughs> shirt. He wears in and out shirts every fucking day. Hey, dude, and he makes fun of me. Bro. So they're like, they were two peas in a pod. But they, yeah, well, one day bully. they're gonna make out. I don't know what's Dom's gonna happen. Dom's a bully because he'll just get on top of me and breathe in my ear. I, I like, I like going with second hand like high. Dom, you know, He's Dom set on. the uh, record for the highest weed uh, con or whatever in, in his of, in his uh, yeah. urine in all of all the states, and not the just the, the, state pre of Utah. the previous record he beat. Was his own. Yeah, and he beat his own record. <laughs> he must have been training for that. Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. I think he set one of the records uh -huh. when he was firing you. That, yeah. Oh, man. Well, that he sucks. couldn't feel anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hats off to him. You know, that fight was wild. Bar burner from the start. He's a oh, tough yeah. kid. I hit him with, God, a lot of shots. A lot of shots. And he still was in there. And then uh, he... he Caught me with the. He's a beast, uh, yeah, bro. He hit, he he's annoyingly yeah. strong. Where yeah. like, and what? I when, hate sparring him. He's I like, hate rolling with yeah, him because yeah. he'll he'll I'll tap. And for me, I've got no I've got no shame in my game. If I don't want to, and he starts yeah. to get on top of me, I'm like, oh tap, oh tap. <laughs> but it's uh, going good for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't give a shit about <laughs> how many times he taps to the gym. But uh, he'll uh, tap me, and I'll be just dead tired, and they'll be like, all right, five seconds. I'm like five seconds, and then he'll get back on top and make me puke. <laughs> and then you know what's my favorite is like. <laughs> He just taps it, like there's no bushudo in him at all, no honor. So like sometimes he'll just be laying there flat. He's like tap, no tap, time. and then Dom can't break the honor. So he's like, oh, I want to hit this guy. And then he like hits Dom, runs away, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> They'll try and re-engage with me, and I'll just go limp. <laughs> like tap. tap. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, well, let's let's go on through some of the other fights then. So the fight after you was uh, Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Yeah. Uh, that lost me some money because. I bet on Mike. I yeah. bet on you too. Terry. I lost some money. Yeah, yeah, you made me some money. Right. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, but uh, I bet on Mike, and uh, that was a rough one. That knockout. I was, was betting rough. with that. Those guys next to us were in my league of betting, so I was betting with them. These yeah. rich assholes. Are, I was like a few hundred bucks a fight, and I'm hey, like, dude, come on, next, 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 <laughs> next, <laughs> next to us, some guys <laughs> like a bunch of five cool. bucks, and Ramsey's like, oh, five I mean, bucks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, we were doing twenty. We did twenty dollar bets, right? Yeah, twenty on the golf course. That's like, yeah, right, dude. These guys. To do like a few hundred dollars bets. So I'm like, bro, it's Christmas, man. My daughter's yeah, fucking my wife Christmas. Would kill me. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there might be a few parlays I need to hit yeah, on the 296. <laughs> Sorry, baby. I love you. <laughs> Maybe Ramadan next year. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, we don't eat during Ramadan. So yeah, I, take, <laughs> I use my food money. <laughs> 
Oh gosh, dude. Yeah. But uh, that, that Mike, Mike Jones yeah. fight was rough, dude. He was uh, he went down hard, huh? Yeah, and tough just fight. Um, tough fight. So out. They both hit each other a lot with some solid shots. That dude had a melon on him too, like Dom. Dude. But we were saying it's earlier. Go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just literally go that out, dude bro. is like a Dom yeah, kind of guy. Like, when he was the guy that we were saying looked like Jessica's dad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and like, but the crazy thing is, is we were saying earlier. Mike just wanted to kill him. Yeah. And he was Hard just shots. trying to, like, out, the, swinging gate. For the, out the gate. Out the gate. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, it's, he was like, I got to get this shit done with. You think that's got to be, you think that's got to be nerves? Almost nerves. I was just nerves. saying, you know, I love because Mike. He's like, oh, I got to get out of here quick. Yeah. It could have been a different experience for him. You know, everyone's different. It could have been that. It could have been just the idea or no glow. You know, it's just the little things that could change it. But yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a dog to hang in there and experience that on that level. Is yeah, and intense. stayed in it. I mean, there was yeah. no oh, yeah. no question about him trying to get out of there early. You he know, he told out. me, oh, though, no, he had, like, no, food no. poisoning or something, yeah. and he was puking all oh, night. Did? Yeah, and then, like, he was oh, probably yeah. going to pull out, but then, like, they're like, he's like, no, I don't want to pull out. And I was like, now he's like, ah, oh, fuck, I should have pulled out. And you're like, yeah. Well, you know. it's always hindsight. It's hard you're to say. That, yeah, Because like, no. every time you're in the situation, you're like, I'm going to pull the Michael Jordan. I'm going to go out there and have the best game of my life. And then when that doesn't happen, you're like, damn it. Yeah, <laughs> Michael Jordan for a reason. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then the Ben Moa fight. Oh, oh, oh. my God. Okay, oh. first of all, that guy who was fighting Ben Moa should have never. Bro, his like brother's a, the, a UFC fighter. But he looked like a dude off the couch. I was like, yeah, he's I boss of boss, anybody, dude. though, man. Uh, Leo, you know uh, that. What's his last name? Leo is his brother. And he's like a top 15 or something like that. So he is a legit, and they are both the same age. They're both like 44, 43. Yeah. I just think it speaks to how good Ben Moa was. Untouched. Untouched. Un but no, but <clears throat> I'm talking about Ben Moa's skill, but how about the uh, the beating that guy took and stayed in? Tough, I was covered in blood oh, after that. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that we were covered. Your story, yeah, yeah was I was covered in blood Dude, that all guy, over. I can't believe the, not even the chin, the entire face yeah. on that. Yeah. He oh. Took such a beating and stayed in the uh, the the doctor had to call it on him. Yeah, then I got home with my shirt covered in blood. Covered in blood. With like throw it in the wash and I throw it in there and I because well, there's like, a bunch of whites in there. Oh, oh, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pride comes out and she's like, it's all over her towels. <laughs> yeah. and she's like, I'm throwing them away. And I was like, oh, man. they got tested, doing? right? Yeah, we're all good. Yeah, yeah, all good. We're all good. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is <laughs> tested for badassness, yeah. right? One hundred percent. Ben Moa yeah, though, his walkout. You could tell he just he knew. What he he had. Yeah, dude, and some people do. You know, I I can't strip walking out. I didn't yeah, was, I can't was, dance. I, I'm, you know, I'm more yeah, nervous. Yeah, see a couple movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I'd rather whatever. just get out there and fight. I thought you were a dancer, killed. bro. You look like a dancer. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, I can see why. But yeah, that was that fight was insane. That was the that was the kickoff of the main card, right? Was Mo on the main card? Mike. No, Mike Jones. Mike was. Was yeah, yeah, Mike there. Jones. But Ben Moa came out and he just yeah. put on a clinic, a finished clinic. that dude. Dude, they said they broke his fingers because his, his hands were so bad that they were like twisted up and over. Uh, so I actually was, I trained one of the doctors and he was like, that was the most busy. He's like, it was unreal so, amount. Of so we we're sitting there in the fighter meeting and, uh, you know, first experience with bare knuckle and they're like, a third of you are going to be stitched tomorrow night. I'm like, they lied to us. <laughs> yeah, that was like Dude, 50 yeah, yeah. Bro, a they lied to everybody us. Everybody but three people got stitched. Everyone stitches. got stitched. But I think three didn't. That was what I was told you know, this morning by the doc. Get in, handle business, get yeah. it done. That's it's like Jeremy Stevens. I don't think he got stitched. He was one of the few. <coughs> ben Moa, I bet, didn't get stitched. Nah, ben Moa didn't yeah, get yeah, stitched. Yeah. But then he broke all of his fingers and toes. Uh, I would, something. I'd rather got stitched than any broken hands. I can hit the bag. I was training the next day. Yeah, a couple I, stitches I, ain't bad, you no, know? I, yeah. I, yeah. I'm good. You don't really need stitches. Like, you heal, but. Jeremy Stevens was the first. I mean, Ben Moa looked good. But Stevens, because I remember I was coming down the stairs. I'd gone up and bought some concessions. And I was coming down the stairs. And the difference in speed on Jeremy Stevens was unbelievable. He looked so fluid. I hit all my bets, but that one. You know who I thought Rivera that? was gonna be able with the experience. You know who also looked like him was, uh, and we'll talk about it. But Eddie, him, Eddie and Stevens both that moved good, very Good's similar. Yeah, Box but fast. you know, it was like that's kind of a, it's a kind of a fun gamble because uh, Jimmy Rivera was winning the fight. But then it came back and he got, I mean, I think Stevens made good adjustments, sure. caught him with one of those tight, you know, like tight fist hooks, caught him. 
fight's over, but That's then the he's already like up three Baron rounds. Marcus, you can almost, as a strategy, hit the same spot over and over and over again to try and open something up. I feel like a jab would go so much I, hit, I don't know if you've seen it in the fight. If you watch it back, I hit Troy with a body shot that initiated one of the first, in the, before any of the uh, car crashes happened. Yeah. I hit him with a really good body shot, and that hurt him a little bit, and that changed the whole... Whole I, eye from there, I seen his whole eye shift. I seen the whole demeanor from. The That's what Chris Lido told us. The best uh, bare oh, knuckles are all about body work yeah. because you can rip yeah. the body, then touch, touch the head. Yeah. It's like you don't need power on the head. Yeah. You just got to touch. We figured we touch the head and go 100% body. And that's exactly what we did through camp. Body pad, no gloves, no wraps, and just got used to conditioning. The, the, yeah, your hands bleed I mean, a lot. The thing is, you're happy for a first round knockout for sure. Yeah. But uh, wanting to do more and more bare knuckle in the future. Did you want to bleed? <laughs> no, but not that. But what I'm saying, do you wish you got a couple more rounds for the experience of it? For because no, like, would you want to be in a barn burner? Really? Percent, like I said, clearly we're all here to make the money. But yeah. just like I'm not talking shit here. I'm not doing this for the views of clickbait. I like to fight. I broke my jaw. I'm I'm here to fight, and I like to put on the uh, fan for the show. You know, Kyle Perfect. doesn't understand this. So Kyle yeah. would want to go out and just yeah. get a one punch KO. Well, I, I, I would want to, you know, just, home run. It, but it, dude, there's <clears throat> yes, it's, it's not about it's just, leading. Yes. You know, it's just, I'd be unable to do anything other than that. Oh yeah, I got yeah, the one yeah. hitter quitter. <laughs> yeah, you and that. It's a two hit fight. I hit you got a, hit you're a heavyweight <laughs> fighting that heavyweight Scottish dude, bro. Yeah, the, what the, about him, game. bro? His, that was filthy. That was a nasty. And I mean, he is, stayed I, in. I bet on the yeah. other guy because he was the champion, and uh, that took my lunch. I didn't actually bet on that one because the odds came out like all flat. funky. But I yeah. took the champ. And uh, he, the champ, got whooped. It wasn't, it wasn't even close. Yeah, bro. I mean, but he was winning the fight, the champ. I don't know. Dude. Like the first he just beginning, he tired him out quick. Too. Yeah, he and like me. honestly, I think this that uh, heavyweight, he had the best, some of the best heavyweight game plan. He just kept that high guard, was just landing one or two punches in His the beginning. Face was, he was sitting in front of us in post though. Yeah, his face was jacked. It was jacked, bro. Yeah. It was jacked. But I mean, I. He stayed in it. He I was talking shit to the doctors, like, quit stopping fights. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cucks, let it go. And they're just laughing. They're like, they're like, no one's going to die. I was like, I want to see someone <laughs> die. Uh, and then uh, the girl fight. Oh, my, oh my God. Yeah. Did you yeah. see her hand after? She couldn't yeah, even touch like, anything. This. Yeah, we've seen her. That there. was rough, dude. That poor, that poor Australian girl. That's the She's third time. She's in there. That yeah, was the yeah. Third time like, you think you'd learn after that? Like, like SpongeBob is like, how many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Like, yeah, stop it. Seriously. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen SpongeBob. I don't yes, watch I that. Shit. I, don't watch uh, that. <laughs> I walked in the other day and you were watching it at the pit, just yeah. like, dying laughing. <laughs> laughing with Gigi my helmet was over on. Reading a newspaper. You're then like, you tried to fight me, got your ass kicked <laughs> by the second handicap guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that girl fight, I mean, she was so quick. She calls out Cyborg after. Dude, that would be filthy. That Cyborg. would be nasty. I mean, I don't think it would happen, though, because Cyborg signed with Bellator. But, yeah, but she's got no legit. The, yeah, you know, she, she doesn't yeah. have a big. I think Bare Knuckles getting a bigger name than Bellator. But it doesn't matter. Contract's contract, you know? That's true. Yeah, at the end of the day. Just like <clears throat> when they asked Dave Feldman. Hey, what about the Conor yeah, McGregor? He's, he's matter, like, yeah, he's like yeah. I mean, he's like, why even talk about it? It's yeah, okay, yeah. That would be, I would pay talk. you whatever amount you know, of money actually, you want. I, I actually really like that. To me, it was a, a big sign of legitimacy out of Dave Feldman. I, I've been really impressed with him with this whole thing because, yeah. you know, if he's some small, you know, fierce fighting, uh, they're gonna or 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 any local guy. I'm not picking on fierce. I just that's who I know. Uh, they're gonna call it Conor McGregor, of course, but. It's pointless. It almost makes you look like a little guy. I'm not saying anybody in Fierce would do that. Yeah. Make an example. But Feldman, he's taking it so seriously. I mean, he got named top CEO coming up. Yeah. And uh, he's like, yeah, well, what's the point? We're we're yeah. legitimate here. Yeah, I think they just signed with Fo or about with Fox too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They're about. Yeah. About yeah about it's TV, really, it's really cool what they're doing. Huge. Right? I Feld think it's Feldman be huge. is Feldman's really impressive. Yeah. 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 He, he's, and it, if you watch the post fight, his his love for the fighters and, and the way he talked about him was was. Yeah, cool. you guys were there at the post yeah. fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we saw that. Guys. Did you go yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. right there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I think that's a different. I feel like as a fighter, yeah. when he comes out and he's like, "Fucking thank you guys, like thank you did it." You're like, "Well, he asked us, you know, fight your fucking asses off before before you know we, we we were in our fighter meeting and he says, just do me a favor and fight for fight for me, fight fight your fucking asses off." Was his words. Yeah. And so, 
And it fired that, the whole you know, that's what I decided that, you know, I'd do is go. There wasn't a single dead. I, the only decision. Oh, there was two decisions, right? Kai and HD. Yeah. And, and the girls. Yeah. And that one was just, I mean, Kai did a great job. He beat the better boxer from a wrestler. Just jumped in. Just took his forced, game plan yeah. out. It might not have been the like prettiest. He was the but... better boxer. He just. No, I don't no. Know. I, I think age. Yeah. Howard Davis is a way better boxer. But... So? It might be hard for. Did Kai you not to see his hands, that. bro? I just feel but like he was throwing that right for yeah, too much. I, feel like I agree, was, and I feel like he was he just being—he right? was, he was being super timid. Yeah, he kept on throwing that forward to the body, and it was just too far away. So he, he felt. I timid. think he did expose how bad he really was. Yeah, but that Kai—I mean, Kai took a couple, but it didn't seem like there was a lot of muscle coming behind HD's punches. Yeah, uh, just from There's not from a lot in that division, you know. Yeah, yeah I mean, not that I've. And seen. then the hey, shout out to the weekly uh, bust. Yeah. The weekly bus, the weekly bus out of Montana. Yeah, we were from Montana, and they're like huge Kai fans. Oh, yeah, and then so our buddy Deuce bet with them, and I was betting with. They were the ones bet against this. HD. Yeah, yeah. He, or no, betting against Kai because they wanted Kai to win, so he bet for HDs. So like, yeah, yeah. Then I had to pay his bets. Oh, yeah. Because he's like, I don't carry twenties around. I was Deuce, like, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that uh, that fight, that Kai dude, he was a he was a man animal. Dude, and he just kept coming. And then he's talking shit about the uh, Sean O'Malley beat. That was one, yeah, that was one of the few ones where I didn't. I never felt like he was in trouble. I, I mean, yeah, even, so. if, even if Howard Davis was landed one solid, it didn't feel like it was trouble for him. Yeah. But, I mean, I would think I'd be interested to see Kai fight MMA. I mean, the dude's a wrestler. Well, yeah, he... I think he just recently got out of that to make his. He hasn't well, been. In you know, one, one, of, the, one like, of the things I noticed uh, going to fierce fighting, and you know, we keep watching Jackson Jackson DeGray, this kid, as well as uh, as well as this thing with Kai and Howard Davis. A lot of times, I've noticed that in the weight divisions, the tall, skinny guy has a lot of trouble against the short, stocky guy. Do really? It, yeah, I that's feel what like I felt, strike, it just seems, like, seems like so much power coming from the short, stocky guy. I think, though, like on uh, like lower circuits, you'll see that because they can just come over the top. But as you start to get like higher level, both guys, the reach advantage, once they learn how to use their reach advantage. Yeah. In your guys' fights, I mean, let's talk MMA. When you guys are fighting, do you who's your ideal match who do you what kind of type of physical type do you want to fight against i i like that for the fight so stylistically i like a striker so we can put on a good fight yeah i'm not trying to get a wrestler but, to hold on to me yeah, yeah. but let, let, let's say who's your let's say you want an easy one and, and you're you don't but let's say you you were to do that who you do want you, to know who i choose who the jiu-jitsu guy who, yeah who do you it's fight someone that? from yeah. jiu-jitsu is the so, easiast yeah. fight for well, me well that and that is because i'm not gonna get subbed and, and they suck on well, their feet and the thing is i can't wrestle and the thing is too is that jujitsu as an art doesn't work. It doesn't. So, no, yeah, it really doesn't. Punch in the face. <laughs> my jump, my jump somebody breaks into my grappling work. Somebody yeah, breaks yeah, into my house. Yeah. I'm not gonna pull guard and scoot toward yeah. him. <laughs> well, like that. And that's the thing everyone's talking about. Does jujitsu work? Right. Benelli Darush just got knocked out, but he got knocked out not like doing jujitsu, like. But then he got picked up and slammed in the arm bar, right? Yeah, and that's yeah. what everyone it happens. That's what I was gonna tell yeah, you. and that's what everyone's saying was you know, led to the knockout, right? Yeah. Right. But I think, yeah, you're not going to do an arm bar off your back in a street fight. We're not competing. We're, yeah. I mean, I, that's why I wasn't a huge fan. I can't get my, you know, belts because I don't roll in a gi, but, I mean, I'm not competing right now. I'm so focused on my fight career and that. It's always been no gi for me. and Yeah. You know, so it's hard to... You know. But I think, like, MMA's become the explosive kickboxing wrestling match. You know what I mean? It's more especially, than a fight. Yeah, yeah. Especially in the UFC and especially in Utah. Well, especially after you go from BKFC and I look at it like that, especially now. Yeah, I'm it's like, an it's explosive not a fight. It's hard to even punch. say it's a fight now because it yeah. takes that dynamic out of it almost. Okay, and, but here, and that's the thing, the bare knuckle, they've kind of kept the fight aspect a little bit of it. But then the thing is, I feel like once you start seeing like some kid that grew up doing bare knuckle versus another kid that grew up doing bare knuckle, it's going to be boxing sure. you know just yeah. 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 That, here's a real question know? for me it's embarrassing i'm gonna make myself vulnerable here but <clears throat> what is the difference between jujitsu and wrestling because it all looks the same to me oh. that's like saying what's the difference between softball and baseball it looks the same. Uh, so jujitsu is just underhand 
Yeah, for girls. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, yeah. All day, yeah. We'll piss some people off. Huh? Yeah, we'll piss some people off. Hey, yeah, if yeah. anyone gets mad, you know where to find yeah. me. Yeah, you know, where, yeah that's right. you know where to find Ramsey. Yeah, yeah you know where to find Ramsey. <laughs> I'll slam your head through my concrete in my gym all, any day. No, but like grappling involves the wrestling, and jujitsu is the art of like, uh, like laying on your back and literally using. So like for me, if I was teaching women self-defense, yeah, you should be learning jujitsu. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Because you're not going to be taking someone in down guard, in guard. Yeah. You know, absolutely. In guard and, and trying yeah, to get yeah. like just control guard and eye gouge someone like yeah. that. But if like two dudes are fighting in the street and you go down to the ground I'm going to grab you by your hair and slam it into the concrete yeah, over and over. Yeah. You throw up an arm bar, I'm going to bite your yeah, dick bite. off as hard as I can. <laughs> you know, if you're holding me in your guard and start playing, yeah. I might just reach up and yeah. eye gouge yeah. you, you know? You're going to let go quick. But grappling involves more of, like, the wrestling, the takedown, sure. while allegedly I've been in a couple street fights, and I allegedly slammed someone on the ground, and their shoulder blade allegedly went through the neck and completely snapped their collarbone. Oh, yeah, it was like backwards. Boom! So and I'll ask this, and then we'll move on to the Perry fight because we're getting close. But that, well, Han, though, but the jiu-jitsu doesn't involve the explosive power. It's about using their strength against them, and that maybe worked UFC 1, but everyone doesn't realize UFC 1 was set up for the Gracies to have the smallest, weakest looking one to win. And everyone be like, look at as a it commercial. UFC was a commercial. There was some badass wrestlers out there that they were like, eh, we don't want to let them into uh, great problems. Yeah. But so my question here, and then we can we can move on to the Perry fight, is when I'm doing jujitsu, right? When we're rolling, when I'm doing the takedown, that's not ju that's not jujitsu anymore. That's wrestling. That's so, technically wrestling. So all jujitsu is a you know, like in tournaments because you're starting standing up, is a combination of jujitsu and wrestling. Yes. It's okay. And jujitsu is just judo, Japanese judo that was taken to Brazil and just kind of remarketed okay. by the grace. So there is no takedowns that would be purely jujitsu. Pulling guard. Okay. That's your one. Yeah. Or and then any or maybe. What? Uh, I MRE that. role. MRE role, maybe. Yeah, like, but that's is limited. But, but MRE role is a sport jiu-jitsu because we see anyone that's done that in a fight, the other person just goes hammer <laughs> fist, and yeah. then the other guy's like, oh. It's not practical. But okay. Yeah. Is there any jiu-jitsu in wrestling tournaments, though? Uh, Not so much. Like, no, not as much. Like, I couldn't I couldn't uh, do an arm bar in a wrestling tournament? No, because oh, you're like, trying to get to him in the back. The only thing you're trying to do in jujitsu, I mean, there's so many things you can do in jujitsu. In wrestling, you're just trying to get them to their back. It's wrestling, you can't so. tab somebody. No, well, no, and so like, verbally, if they get hurt, any, I guess. And well, let's bring it back. You want to? Let's get into this. So any of the catch wrestling, which is original wrestling, and then they took out the submissions so it could become an Olympic sport and added in the time and the scoring. So the wrestling used to be like three hours long until you submitted. So then uh, Eddie Bravo, 10th Planet, they took catch wrestling and named it a bunch of funky names or whatever. Mm -hmm. And now you have like the calf slicer, which in wrestling was a tilt. You have the, um, what do you call it? The uh, twister, which was a, a guillotine actually in wrestling. And that's how I pinned someone. But they took these... And that's why I don't believe in them, because in a real fight, no one's going to actually tap to a calf slicer. Yeah. Like, it's going to be uncomfortable, <laughs> but you're not going to blow out someone's calf. No yeah. one's going to tap to a twist. I mean, there has been taps to a twister, but you see more people get out of those submissions yeah, yeah. than not. And then yeah. the real submissions that are coming through are all catch wrestling. Take someone down, get on their back, and then they called it a rear naked choke because they used the gi, but really it was just a wrestling choke. So let's Back say, choke. Is, is there black belt in wrestling? No. Let's say a very, the yeah, high, high. I'm a black belt in wrestling. Is, is there really black belts in wrestling? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, so let's say a high end, let's say the equivalent of a black belt in jiu-jitsu goes against the equivalent of a black belt in wrestling. Who's typically going to win that fight? Well, you're looking at the whole, like, what, Matt Sarah and uh, who was that? Uh... But that's like, so what George. are we talking about? A grappling match or uh, are you talking about a street fight? No, no, uh, tapping. So a grappling match. No, okay, it, a grappling match is the jiu-jitsu, i.e. Bo Nichols versus uh, Gordon, uh, Ryan. Gordon Ryan. So Gordon Ryan, but what happened in the beginning, uh, Bo Nichols got on his back, 
five plex five point suplex uh, slammed him. Yeah. And then you know Gordon Ryan just you know he's on mats, so it's fine. You move that to a street fight. Exactly. Gordon Ryan's eating out of a straw the rest of his life, eating a slam like that. Mm. So that's why it's like wrestling's becoming and there's more wrestling champions than there are jiu-jitsu champions because wrestling translates to fighting. And more more uh, explosive. Explosive. Oh, okay. And you want to know what you do to a jiu-jitsu guy to really piss them off or a player? You, Make them wrestle you. Yeah. <laughs> Put them in front headlocks, yeah. and Boss they wrestle, hate it, wrestle, and then they drive yeah. for your ankles, and you just cross-face them, and then, like, you're just wrestling them, and you're yeah. like, they fucking hate it, man. So that's the way you get them. And okay. anyone want to come get some, like I said, you know where to come find me. Dojo store me anytime. <laughs> okay, so let's talk. I invite it. Let, let's talk Perry. Uh, also, you can dojo store my day when I'm not there. Uh, 3.30 every day. <laughs> that's when Kyle's there. That's where I'm supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, he's never there, yeah. So pretty much I'm just sitting there waiting for you by myself, so I'm waiting oh, for the dojo store. Yeah. <laughs> he's got nothing else to do. I got nothing Show else to do. Show him at 3.30 the pit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Mike Perry, that fight was, first of all, we had Perry in. He's, I, I really like the guy. Um, Dude, he's a character, dynamite. Yeah. I think he is the face of bare knuckle. Yeah. Like, he could take that sport and make it into the, sure. you know. Fun, fun to be around. But that first round, I thought he was going to get knocked out. That was wild. No way, and bro. He was zero letting chance. his nuts no, hang out. There was zero chance. Maybe at first, he took a couple punches. Zero. He gets. He got he stumbled. Got, yeah, he, he got stumbled struggling. a couple of times. But he's adjusted. Yeah. he adjusted nicely. And I mean, do you think, like, that was... He was letting him hit him a little. No, bit. no chance, not at all. You think maybe at the start, but then he starts getting rocked. I think Eddie was way faster than fast. he expected. Yeah. Like so fast, he was like, pop, 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 out, pop, pop, pop. But this is what I was talking with uh, the doc today. Eddie went at it like an MMA fighter, and you saw the guys that approached it mm -hmm. like an MMA fighter. So Eddie was just hitting the gas the whole time, like. Hurt him. I got to finish the knockout compared to being like a boxer who would win pack, pack, the first pack, half pack, of the round, pack, right? And then just coast stop. the rest of the round. And then if you would have done that, it would have kept on like adding up rounds, adding up rounds, adding up cuts on Perry. But then he was like, I'm going to finish him. I want the knockout. He's a, yeah. yeah, he's a dog, dude. Yeah, he he's wants a dog. That. He wants another Yeah, which I mean, as a fan, I was like, hell sure. yeah, I'm here for it, you know? But yeah. if I was his coach, I've been like, Land your shots, win the first half of your boxing round, because it is boxing. It's not MMA where the second half matters for sure. some reason get in the MMA. Down. Get the takedown. Yeah, get, get the, the take. Round. For some reason, the second half of your MMA round is judged harder, but in boxing, the first half is judged harder because control, everyone yeah. coasts, you know, the control. Do you think if uh, Mike hadn't opened up Eddie's eye like that, I mean, or he broke his orbital, right? If he hadn't done he that, broke up something, bro. Do you, what, do you think, what, do you, what do you think is happening in the next round? Do you think Eddie had his number, or do you think Eddie had shot his wad in the first round? I think he shot his wad, man. Mm. Like, like I said, he just was like, "I hurt him. I'm gonna hurt him. I'm gonna hurt him." And that you've been there. Yeah, yeah. that's probably punch what happened when you were dumb, yeah, right? And you just want to keep out. going. And that's where I've been knocked out. That's where I've been hurt. Yeah, blown my own wad. It's when you're trying you, to kill someone. Yeah, you're in there. You feel it and just. So when you were in your first round, Trevor, the you know you smell blood in the water, you start really throwing on it, knock the guy out. Do you think if he had lasted, you would have been in trouble? Do you think you had too much of an energy dump? Or no, no, I I've learned from my prior mistakes in that Dom fight. Uh, definitely, that 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 was the biggest learning experience I've taken from that fight was to. You know, you never know. You, you refs right there. You think he looks like he's about to jump. You know, jump in, but you just never really know. So. Um, I don't think even, I had even when you guys are smelling blood. I mean, Ramsey, then you were in there for a long time. Even when you guys smell blood in the water, are you reserved? I mean, you saw what we saw what happened to Zeke at yeah. uh, Fierce Fighting. I mean, he was done. Are yeah. you guys, you know, you're really careful to be reserved, even when it's even when it's well, like time? Armin with the Darush. Once he hurt him, he just yeah, it took him a little bit to find the kill, and that's why you see that could have been high level. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. No, that could have been borderline, you know. He could have been stopped, you know, to Zeke's. You know, he wasn't – he was defending himself, but, you know, we are Fair, a local yeah. – I mean, come on, dude. We're not making yeah. a lot of money on here. Save the guy. Yeah. What are we doing? Oh, yeah. Zeke's <laughs> you know, fight should – Come on. He, yeah, yeah. That Zeke's fight should have been stopped in my opinion. I think your fight should have been stopped. I, 100%. I mean, remember, he was wobbling on yeah. the 10-second count, and he kind of just got pushed in and usually would have crossed one more time. I was time. shocked. I was shocked. Yeah, that second fight, he never needed that, 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 you know. Canvas, 
I was like, okay, you know, clearly I'd love to get in a longer fight, but when you're in it, you're like, of course I want him to be done when he's hurt like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because at the come... end of the day, you want him to be healthy. <laughs> yeah, dude. We're all, no we're all going after easy. the same yeah. dream, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, shout out to Troy for that fight. It was an awesome experience with you, and uh, hope you're healing up nicely. Um, but, yeah, it's it's wild. But it was, it was from a fan perspective, it was a wild thing to be watching. I mean, even yeah. it with was all fine. your experience, it was so fun, though. Dude, we were like texting each other like two in the morning afterwards. Like, okay, take it up there. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't go to sleep till like yeah, four in the bro, morning. Bro, I couldn't yeah. go to sleep. Hey, are you up? What are you wearing? <laughs> what are you I'm wearing? Like, bro, I'm sleeping. You're like, I'm like, I can see you sweating <laughs> from over here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel Ramsey, sorry for your wife. <laughs> Ramsey tried to get me to give him a ride home like we we're in bro, middle school. Bro, <laughs> wouldn't give me a ride home. He's like, he got dropped after the fight by his mom. He's like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 right yeah. I'm like, yo, call an Uber. Leave me yeah, alone. Yeah, my mom <laughs> dropped me off. She was in town. And then I'm like, call an Uber at like 1230 at night. Yeah. There's no Ubers. Luckily, Stover came through and gave me a ride. I was like, <laughs> what a jerk. I'm dude. not going to give you a ride of the opposite direction. It's oh, 1230 at night. Dude, Get out of here. man. <laughs> Uh, they're trying to get me to go to the after party at Sky. I'm like, dude, I should have been asleep two hours. Yeah, yeah this guy doesn't stay out late, yeah, so it's I, hard. I had a hard time too. We were like joking because we trained super early in the morning. Like I'm like 5 a.m. Yeah. I'm like hitting a hard training every. Because you gotta go to work. Right? Yeah, we yeah. Anyways, we were like we're, we joked around. We're like, dude, it's you're gonna be getting ready for bed. You know, yeah, adjust yeah. your schedule because you're fighting at bedtime. You know that, and so we kind of like yeah, we laughed That's about right. it. It was late. Yeah, yeah. that was a late car. That would be the one thing I would wish is like that was on our time. Yeah, if that was on the East Coast, they weren't leaving the press conference until two, two in the morning. Yeah, exactly. I know. So That's I'm what like, I was dude, like, dude. We are. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that was late, bro. I was like seven so, o'clock in Utah time. They should have like that's one thing. Please start yeah. it earlier yeah, next time. Yeah, yeah, coming yeah, back in up. April. Yeah, like five p.m. prelims. You know, like. Seven main cards yeah. always again. Yeah, put me on the main card. Next well, time. Uh, yeah, we'll hell go. yeah! After that performance, yeah, hey, we got a couple friends there, Kyle. Right? We'll put a good word in yeah, for you. Yeah. <laughs> tell us, uh, tell us where we can find you on uh, on socials. Tell us who were some of your training partners. Shout out your coach. Oh, uh, shout out to uh, the Dojo, Bobby King, Thomas Hughes, my coach Nick McNabb from the beginning. Uh, just Trevor Bradshaw on my socials. Uh, no cool fight nickname. So T R E V E R. E R. Yeah, yeah. Trevor Bradshaw. Trevor Bradshaw. Right. Yep. Hit me up. Thank well, you, Trevor. It was it was a blast watching, man. Honestly, it was very cool to be there. Thank and you. yeah, bro. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. That was yeah, fucking absolutely. fun, man. Yeah, it was yeah, fun yeah. to be a part of it. Okay, guys, that was Trevor Bradshaw. We're glad to have him in in uh, in the studio today. A big shout out to Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. That was an incredible amount of fun. Go follow all their stuff on social media. Go follow all their stuff on YouTube. Uh, we got some more big things coming for the coach and the casual uh, in these next couple of weeks. Some big, big things coming. But thanks for always watching and keep tuning in. Thanks for tuning into the coach and the casual. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify and share it with your friends. Thanks again.